Hey guys, it's me, Jonathan Graham, again here. And today, we'll, today we'll be f continuing on our furniture series of origami for our living room set, and we'll be making this little ottoman that I designed. It's from a square of paper, as you can see. And so, here's how to make that. I want to start with the square of paper. This is a slightly larger square I got here of paper. This is white on the back. And the first thing you want to do, with the colored side up, you want to fold it in half horizontal, horizontally and vertically both ways like this to bring this edge to this edge here. Make sure you do this well. Make sure you line things up nicely. Unfold. Rotate. Fold in half this way. Again, making sure that you line things up well. Unfold your square. So we have a like this. Now I'm going to flip it over so the white side's up, and we're going to fold this in half diagonally both ways. Again, making sure you line things up well. Unfold, rotate, and do the same the other way. Lining up the corners well. And here we have the beginnings of a water bomb base, which we will be making, but first we're going to divide this into an 8x8 grid. So what we're going to do, with the white side up, we're going to fold the, center, the edges to the center crease. Like that. And turn it and bring this edge to the center crease. Should you line things up well. Now we're going to unfold here and here, and we're going to bring this, this is in fourths, now we're going to take this edge here and bring it to this crease right here. Line things up as you do this. Unfold, rotate, bring this edge to this crease up here. And unfold. Next we're going to bring this taper, this crease here, this edge here to this closest crease to the edge. And that'll form an eighth here to make it into eighths. So now I'll turn it around and fold this edge to this crease here. So bring it up. Making sure that you line things up as you do this. Crease it well. And unfold. So now you see we have fold we've divided this square into eighths, one direction. Now we're gonna do the same the other way. So again we take this edge. Fold it to the center crease. Make sure things are lined up. Turn it around. Bring this edge. This edge is a bit torn, but here's the straight edge. We'll use that as our guide. So there. Assuming your paper isn't uh, doesn't have that on it. Unfold. Again, this edge to this crease. Full rotate now this edge here to this crease here. Making sure when you do this is that everything is lined up well, or else you may not get a nice result at the end. Now I unfold again. Bring this edge to the closest crease to you. Just like that. Unfold, rotate. Bring this edge closest to the closest crease to you again. And now, make sure you got everything lined up when you do this. Crease it in well. Unfold. You can see now we have an 8x8 grid. We have 8 going this way and 8 going this way. Now we're going to make a water bomb base. So the way I like to do that is you're going to take you can see the you know, fold it like this, just diagonally in half on the crease, and just reinforce the diagonal folds. That I made here, because as you can see, we get sort of a pyramid shape here. And fold it like that. Bring it down. There's our water bomb base. And now we're going to take. This top one here, we're going to do a sink full, a closed, an open sink. So see the center 2x2 two two square here. 
we're gonna this is already mountain folds because the way we folded the creases pinch the sides so we have kind of um truncated pyramid sort of with a flat top and the way I like to do this is I sort of push in all around the corners and push that sink that tip inside that's the open sink so we've sunk the tip in and now we can take this crease here it's already there we're gonna fold only the top one here on that crease and let this part open up again That'll become, the, so try to do that again so you can see. Crease here, just lifting only the top here, let this part open out flat. That'll become the top of our step stool, our ottoman, when we're done. Now we're going to flip this over, and you can just take this, what I like to do is you just fold on this crease like this, so this edge ends up on this crease, like that and unfold it and now we're going to reach inside here one side first, open it up like this make it sort of like this so it looks like this and now we're going to push in this slot right here and this crease will line up with this right here so again make sure you do this accurately See that? This lines up and it'll flatten out nice. We'll flip around and do the same. Here's our opening. This crease up here will line up with this right here where these two points meet. See how it lines up right there. I'll bring it closer so you can see. There you go, it lines up perfectly. Next we do is going to be sort of a tricky fold. We're going to fold these sides in, so first I'm going to just reinforce their creases. There should be a crease there already. And there's a crease here and a crease here. This is sort of a fun fold. Here we're going to pull up on these two white sections here, on these raw edges here. And you can see that's kind of how it's going to work. There's going to be some new creases forming. Bring these sides in and push together you can see how it collapses down. So one more time. We had it like this. These are the new creases that will be formed. Pull up these raw edges while pushing in the sides. And that's what how it collapses. It's not that tricky to fold. But. Okay, next we're going to actually flip this over so we have it like this and you'll have this kind of shape and there's a crease here, we're going to fold this point up on that crease and fold this in, now we're going to be forming the legs or the feet of our footstool fold it over like that, over the edge of the of this folded edge I'm going to open this up and just simply take this and fold it in like that now we'll do the same on this on, all, on the other three corners, so here we go Fold it over, lift this up, fold this over inside, and put that back down like that. That's it from the back. Just Those are going to be the feet. Turn it around this way, do the same, fold this up, fold it over there. You want to make sure it's not quite tight against that edge, because then it'll fold over nicer. Unfold, and tuck inside. Fold it in, fold it over, unfold, open up, fold this inside, it's inside like that, and then fold this back down. Well, we're getting close to the end. Next, we're going to make finish off the feet, so what we're going to do is we're going to flip the, no, we're going to leave it the way it is. We're going to fold this, these two at the same, these two edges here, all at once. So we're going to make a crease that goes from right here where this meets here and where this vertical edge meets this edge and then this crease is going to go from this point all the way to this tip and there's quite a few layers so you want to kind of make sure that, let's see, 
that it's really well done and really creased well. There. Now we're going to unfold both the both layers. Actually just the back one for now. And we're going to open this up here. You can see there. And we're just going to just fold this inside so like we did before on the corners. And then this piece here, we're going to reverse it so it's a mountain fold. Flip this over and just tuck it inside. And now you could leave your leg just pointed, but what I do is I open this up like this and just, so you can see here, open it up and I just fold this tip in just a little bit. It's quite thick at this point, so just make sure you do it well. And there's one leg of our footstool all finished. Now let's go on to the next leg. We do that this, on all four the same way. So again, we're going to make a crease that goes from this point to this tip. Crease it really sharply because it's really thick layers. Unfold the bottom one, only, only unfold the one. Just unfold the one section. Tuck it inside. This makes it easier if you just open the one. Now this one you're going to unfold and reverse around like that, wrap it around basically. Unfold, open up here, put it inside. And then we're going to fold that tip in again, so just open this up. Try to make sure they fold in the same amount. It's pretty thick, so you got to kind of, this is where a thin paper is good for this, and this is pretty good paper. And see I tried to make sure they were fairly even. So when we're done, our stool will stand quite evenly. Next corner, same thing. Fold this over, going from here to there. Just make sure you do this accurately. Unfold the uppermost one. Open up, fold inside, flatten. Unfold here. Reverse this crease, wrapping it around this layer here. Unfold, open up the pocket, fold it inside. And then open this up again and fold the tip in a little bit. Just like that. And then fold it back over. Make sure that tip is folded in there nice. And the finally, the last one, same thing, folding this over from this point to this point, make a crease, really sharp crease, really strong crease there. Unfold the upper one, uppermost one, just makes it easier to open up and tuck inside. Make sure that this flap here, we folded earlier, is stays in place, stays in there nice. So it stays in place nice. And now this side, gonna unfold, reverse that crease by wrapping it around. See how it wraps around. Unfold this or open it up rather and tuck it inside. Flatten it. And then again we'll open this up and fold this small point in a little bit. Just tip in. That'll make the bottom of the foot of the footstool. And see, they're pretty close to the same. We want them to be pretty same, much the same. And now we're almost done. There's only like one more, one or two steps left. And that is very simple. Actually, one step. We're going to fold these legs down along this edge. There should be a crease already there. Fold it. I do one at a time. One. Two. Crease really strongly because, really hard because these are thick layers. And these two, again, Fold down, fold down like that. Make sure they're really good. And what I like to do is fold them all down, set it down like this, and just really, really flatten it really well. Flatten it really well. This is the top of our foot still right here. Flatten it really, really good. And now make sure they stand up about 90 degrees from the top. You have a 90 degree angle here. And your footstool is done. And this can also be a table if you want as well. Like a small table, like a card table or something, or a nightstand. But 
there you go. There's your ottoman. I hope you're able to fold that.